mistakes are not an option. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down the top 10 continuous movie scenes. Just to be clear, we're focusing on the incredible and well-executed scenes from film that are done in one uninterrupted shot, as in not a single cut takes place. Well, as far as we can tell. Number 10, Tricycle, The Shining. Getting things moving are the two uninterrupted steady shots from Stanley Kubrick's horror masterpiece that follow Danny as he explores the vast empty spaces of the Overlook Hotel. Building a sense of suspense, the lack of cuts works to instill a sense of dread that the next corner could hold something terrifying. Not to mention the feeling that he's being followed. The atmosphere is punctuated by the sound of the big wheel trike as it rolls from bare floors to carpet. Number nine, hallway scuffle, old boy. In this original adaptation of the South Korean mystery thriller, the story follows a man who has been locked up in a hotel room for 15 years without knowing why. When his search for answers leads to a confrontation against a mob in a hallway, the camera takes a profile view of the agonizing one against many brawl. until finally and painstakingly reaching its climax. <laughs> Number eight, nightclub and double murder, Boogie Nights. This statement-making technique was attempted by director Paul Thomas Anderson's team for the very first shot in the film. Depicting the nightclub of the 1970s, this three-minute scene worked to introduce us to Burt Reynolds' porn director as he enters the club before following the owner working the floor and connecting back to Reynolds and his soon-to-be star, Mark Wahlberg. Think that's a crazy cinematic feat of timing and cues? Well, check out the film's second attempt as it follows William H. Macy on New Year's Eve uh, hey, Kurt, have you seen no. my wife? No, no. Hey, they're doing that countdown. Come on in, man. Uh, okay. As he navigates a house party to find his cheating wife for snapping and going for a double murder and suicide. <laughs> Number seven, staircase fight, the protector, AKA Tom Young Gong. Action scenes are tricky enough, but imagine having a prolonged action sequence take the fight up a series of staircases without being able to make a single mistake. Here, Tony Jaw takes on countless stunt actors in search of his stolen baby elephants. This scene is so intense that we can't help but feel for the cameraman who's struggling to keep up and keep on time. We'll take this over shaky cam any day. Number six, car attack, children of men. Easily the most memorable scene from this dystopian flick, this all-in-one shot featured an attack on a moving car carrying the film's protagonist. Created with a specially designed car-mounted camera rig capable of 360-degree movements, this ambush, shot in one take, creates a tense scene that makes the viewer feel like passengers in the car themselves. Julian. It's a cops. It's a cops. <laughs> 
Incredibly, the take took 12 days to stage and execute, and only the last take was used, which was almost interrupted by the director. Thankfully, the crew ignored his call to cut when blood hit the lens. Number five, hospital shootout, hard boiled. Thanks to the choreographic efforts of action director John Woo, this is considered one of the best action sequences ever filmed. In it, two cops take two floors of a hospital packed with bad guys in only one take. That's a whole lot of gunplay, special effects, and timing involved. All to take the audience from the hallway to the elevator and up to a completely different floor. If there's any cheat, it's the use of slow motion to help us catch our breath. Video games can only aspire to be this frantic and well organized. What's most impressive is that this was all accomplished in a single take. Number four, the Copacabana, Goodfellas. What are you doing? You leaving your car? Watch the car. Considered one of the most famous continuous shots ever, this one is from the Martin Scorsese crime classic. Every time you do, would you work? A scene referred to as the Copa sequence, cinematographer Michael Ballhouse painstakingly followed Ray Liotta and Lorraine Bracco into the legendary nightclub from the back door all the way to their seats. Nice to see. This one is reported to have required eight takes to nail and effectively depicts the level of power and access the crime world can open up to you. What do you do? What? What do you do? I'm a construction person. Number three, the bomb, touch of evil. <laughs> Talk about an explosive opening to a film that blew audiences away. This shot from Orson Welles' film noir classic is considered one of the greatest examples of an uninterrupted shot in cinematic history. As it follows a car planted with a bomb, it not only introduced the protagonist, but demonstrated that there was more than one way to tell a story and create a sense of fluid storytelling. Do you realize I haven't kissed you in over an hour? Number two, real time, rope. Open it. Next up is this Alfred Hitchcock masterpiece, the first of his films in Technicolor, one that was ambitious enough to take place in real time. I'll open these, all right? This was accomplished by having it made up completely from 8 to 10 minute takes, with a story centered on two killers having strangled a classmate. I was sure she'd notice. Notice what? The rope, of course. Brandon, we've got to hide it. Why? Why? Yes, why? It's only a piece of rope, Philip, an ordinary household article. Why hide it? The tense thriller focused on them having hid the body in their apartment and having invited friends and family over just to see how good of a job they had done. And I can help. You're going to die, Brandon, both of you. You're going to die. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Hi. I don't know. Wait. Later than that. Later than that. Yeah, sure, if they're open. Was that your cheese? I don't care. I don't care. I'm not going to eat it. That was an extraordinary shot. What the hell was that? I've never heard of it. It's Julian Temple. Ooh. It's an English film. We're in English. We're talking about American right. movies and Orson Welles and Masters. No grenades, huh? Aww. No grenades. We crashing again? Talk to your husband. Meal prepped? Good to go, sir. Just loading her up. Those grenades? Yeah, camp on the wall. Jay, we're robbing the place. We're not occupying. Number one, entire film, Russian Ark. Просто Ватикан! Сударь, мы же в Ватикане, а? Now we cut to the greatest example of non-interrupted filmmaking. There is no standout scene here. Rather, the entire 96-minute historical drama was shot without the camera ever cutting. Mama! Ah! Mama! 
That's right, it was crafted with the use of a Steadicam navigating 33 rooms of the Winter Palace of the Russian State Hermitage Museum. Centered on a ghost drifting through the location, his journey takes us on a guided tour through history. In total, it took three takes to accomplish, while being limited by the 100 minute hard drive they were capturing it on. The cheat here is that the sound was modified after the fact, as that allowed for some degree of error and the ability to edit out the crew's cursing. Agree with our list? Which continuous movie scene impressed you the most? For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Jimmy two times, who got that nickname because he said everything twice, like... I'm gonna go get the papers, get the papers. Mm -hmm.